Hi guys. So today is day seven and we are headed to Low Gap Shelter. We have about 10.5 miles to go. It is 1222. Um, we kind of left Mountain Crossings a little later than we planned. We did some laundry um, and that, oh guys, let me tell you one. Fresh laundry makes you feel a whole lot different when you're out here. I know I'm, I'm about to get back sinky in literally no time, but I feel good <laughs> because my laundry is clean, I'm clean. Um, my knee, my left knee is a bit swollen. Um, I did take some medicine for it. And today I think because I took more Benadryl than normal, my allergies are not as bad, but they, are definitely still there and I'm definitely still having some nose dripping um, and itchy eyes a little bit, but otherwise I'm doing pretty good. I am definitely afraid for late bloom, like season when stuff started really blooming. Um, I did send my Benadryl home, but I did shake some in a, a little baggie, which is I think gonna help load it, lighten my load. I did have a lot of medicine that I probably didn't need um, I do suffer horrible menstruals, and I know currently, which is a little semi eye, but it's okay because this is a part of my life on trail. <laughs> um, I do suffer from really bad periods, and next week would probably be the week where I'm gonna suffer the most <laughs> because that's when it actually starts. Um, and I'm a little bit afraid that that's gonna slow me down just because. Sometimes when I'm on it, I don't feel as good and I feel very lethargic, but I have medicine. I'm taking transaminic acid, which has significantly helped with my flow. So I'm hoping because I'm hiking and I'm just kind of strenuous, <laughs> kind of, um, that helps with my flow too. So we will see how that goes and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm sorry to all the guys who are watching this and probably like, girl, we didn't need to know all that. <laughs> but this is for the ladies that are planning to do a hike and have really bad menstruals. I'm with you, girl. And we're gonna get through this together. <laughs> or is through hiking too. Yeah, obviously I'm still getting comfortable in front of the camera. So again, as I said, bear with me. I'm actually, hoping that me filming on my phone is gonna work because I did send my GoPro home. I'm sorry to the hiker who said, don't do it. <laughs> I just feel like if I start using it more, I would have kept it, but I just, I'm not using it. And I just feel like that's an unnecessary weight. And it's not, like you said, very heavy, but it does take up some space in my pack that I didn't, I could use for other stuff. Um, like I said, I only, that's in my pack by five pounds. I know there's some stuff I can still send home. I'm gonna do that eventually. <laughs> but right now I'm keeping some of the stuff just cause I feel like I need it. Until I feel like I don't, I'm gonna keep it. But I am feel like I'm walking a lot faster with that five pounds. Those five pounds made a difference. Also for the hiker who asks how old I am, I am 29 years old. I just look very young for my age and I sound even younger. So <laughs> that's not really helping the case, is it? But yeah, so yeah, I'll show you guys how trail is looking in one moment. So this is how trail is looking today. It's actually not too bad. And again, because there's no leaves and nothing on the trees, we are getting views of the mountains, which is very pretty. So I'm actually really happy about that. It makes me feel very like grounded for some odd reason, you know? Okay. I'm gonna go now so I can start walking because we have quite a bit to go and some more big up climbs um, as from what I looked at on Far Out. And I wanna make sure I am okay. Oh, let me show you guys. I put a knee compression sack on my knee. I'm gonna show you guys that. Okay, so on my knee, oh, can you see? Yes. On my knees, I put a compression sleeve on it that I had brought with me and I'm hoping that that helps with some of the swelling you can kind of tell a little, that it's a little swollen but it's really not bad walking on it with the sleeve um I'm also trying to hike 
where it's not like I'm not putting too much weight on it. So I'm hoping that's helping as well. And what else was I going to say? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> um, so we'll see. We'll see how that holds up with a little bit of a longer hike. We're hiking, what, two more extra miles than we have really been. So two to three more extra miles than we have really been. This is one of our longest days we've hiked so far, which I'm actually really excited about that. I'm glad to be getting some bigger miles in. So yeah. Look at that. We love a good flowing water source. Oh yeah. And someone asked me how I get water, so I use my smart water bottle. This is my dirty one, that's why I look all rinky dink. And then I grab some water from the water source. Beautiful. And then I attach my Sawyer onto that one, onto this one, and then I filter in water into that one or my other one that I just got and then before it was with my um, trailblazer hydro fast but then I sent that home and just got another smart water bottle because wait <laughs> so yeah um, I'll show you filtering it in a second let me just put it on there so this is how I filter my water I just put it inside doo -doo -doo, there and then I squeeze the bottle and you can see the water going in from here. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the beautiful water source that I'm getting my water from. As you already seen. <laughs> but yeah. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Takes a while for it to come out. Yep, this is how I filter to my water, guys. Guys, we also didn't make it to Low Gap Shelter. Um, I think we had about another five point something miles to go. We decided to stop here at Whitley Gap Shelter. It was another 1.2 miles off of trail, but honestly, it's so cute. I'm going to obviously insert pictures at the end. Um, there's a lot of people, oh well, not a lot actually, it's only like maybe five people up there. I just don't like to record other people. I think out of respect for them and not wanting to be on camera, because I know I wouldn't want people just recording me, but I would definitely take a picture. Um, try to get a picture without people being in it. Yeah. When you're glad you don't have to bear hang your food yourself, and you can just use the bear cables. I have to get a video after because this is heavy. <laughs> Hello guys. So today is day eight. Um, I'm planning to go to Blue Mountain Shelter. I have about 11.2 miles to go from Whitley Gap Shelter. I left Shay back there at Hog Pen parking lot, Hog Pen Gap parking lot. She is not feeling good again. Um, her gastritis is acting up again. She was again throwing up in the wee hours of the morning. So she's gonna get off trail for a couple of days. And um, I think she's going into Helen. And I can't remember where she's planning to stay, but that is neither here nor there. I just know that she's planning to stay there for at least two to three days and she's gonna reassess her body and see if she's gonna get back on trail. And I know her family really wants her to come home, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and hopefully she'll be able to catch up with me at some point. I'm gonna miss her <laughs> a lot. Um, she's been a really good hiking buddy. So I'm kind of sad that she's not feeling too hot, but this has been a span of a week and she's already had like two flare, two to three flare up. So I'm hoping that she listens to her body and do what's best for herself. Um, because that's scary. I could imagine like having to hike out 
at night when the wind is like crazy and it's cold. You can barely feel your fingers or your feet, toes. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, I'm hoping that I can get to Blue Mountain Shelter in no time. I don't even want to put a time limit on it. I just want to get there early um, and not too late and not be hiking in the dark. <laughs> Why? Just why? I also want to talk about how it'd be like freezing in the morning and then hot. Like we know that it gets hot around 1 or 2 o'clock every day and that it's coldest between 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning every night. But man, does it make or affect how I feel like people hike as well. Because I swear, in the mornings, like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like when it's cold, I can hike a little fast. But I'm also cold that I'm hiking slow because I'm, like, taking my time because my muscles feel tight. And right now, my muscles feel loose, but I'm hot. So I also feel like I'm hiking slow because I'm hot. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, that's my little rant. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Okay guys, I made it to Blue Mountain Shelter. Yeah. I did it all by myself. I'm so proud of myself. I did take a lot of breaks, a lot of water breaks. It was definitely a hike and I climb up here. There was a lot of rocky terrain, but I did it. I did it. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, we have probably, I'm thinking either a six or a nine mile day tomorrow. I have to look it far out, but I want to make it to Hialeah on Tuesday because me and Kim, another um, through hiker who kind of started around the same time me and Shay started, booked a hostel uh, around the Ben Hostel on Tuesday night. So I think I can do it. I'm feeling in very good spirits. My feet kind of hurts, but nothing a good night's sleep won't fix and a little rub down and some stretching. I'm feeling so good. I'm just so proud of myself for hiking out big miles today. This is ah, so exciting. But um, yeah, I'm about to get me some, make me some food. So that's not my pot and pens. That's tall guys. This is my setup and then my food bag is back there. But yeah, I'm about to make me some food and I'm gonna get a good night's rest and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.